Hello everybody, this is Mustafa. Uh, I have here a Yamaha scooter and uh, this engine is two stroke engine. Uh, doesn't does not have a transmission but has uh, an automatic transmission. I'm gonna explain how the transmission work. Uh, normally you have a pulley here, a drive pulley, and you have another pulley attached to the wheel. Uh, here is the drive pulley, here is the driven pulley. By changing the diameter where the belt uh, sets, you can change the speed. So normally the front pulley has has two flanges, has two flanges. One of the one of these flanges is moving. When you move the flange to the right, now you're gonna have a small diameter for the belt. When you move this flange to the left, you're gonna have bigger diameter. That's how we change the diameter. Here is the drive pulley, here is the driven, and now at high speed, you gotta have the drive pulley has bigger diameter, and the driven pulley has a smaller diameter. So let's see that setup here uh, on the bike. So I'm gonna take this cover off to show you those two pulleys. Here is the drive pulley, which is coming from the engine. Here the cylinder, and you have the starter here. Here is the drive pulley, and here is the driven pulley. Normally, in the back, this one works by centrifugal weight, so you have to uh, have certain speed in this belt, so the back pulley can. Uh, engage with the with the wheel I'm gonna take this one off so I can show you these two pieces the two flanges so this flange does not move. The one that moves is this flange. You gotta be careful because I have to. You have you have rollers inside, so you have to try to get the whole thing out. These are the rollers, and you can see they are moving on a ramp. These ro rollers will make the whole flange comes out and goes back in. That's how we change the diameter where the belt sits. So how this one works? That is, that is the uh, drive pulley. So you have here six rollers uh, there. And when they come out, we gotta push this flange to get closer to the other flange, and by doing that, you get bigger diameter in the front. How about the back one here? The back one you have this flange that moves. So at low speed you have small diameter here and then you have the big diameter. At high speed you have big diameter in the front and you have small diameter in the back. As you can see here, you have scenario A and scenario B. The scenario A, for example, is three to one, means, means that the drive pulley is gonna spend three times to make the driven pulley spend one, one turn. In scenario B, that's the high speed. The front pulley 
the driven one uh, has bigger diameter and the back one has small diameter so the ratio is 0.3 to 1 means what means the front pulley is gonna spend one third of a turn to give one turn to the back one I'm gonna take this off to show you uh, something else What I want to show you here is the, the centrifugal weight. That is the centrifugal weight. You have two of them, and here you have the friction material. When the centrifugal weight uh, comes out, it's going to engage with the with the rotor, which is part of the of the mechanism that give the motion to the rear wheel this wheel is, you have some gears here that those gears are reduction gears and you need oil to lubricate these gears and here here is the to to add oil and normally uh, if you wanna uh, drain the oil so there's a plug down here to drain the oil to put everything back the pulleys the rotor, the belt, so we're going to put the rotor on the back mechanism. Goes as you can see here, the pulley the two flanges are close to each other, so the belt will set on bigger diameter.